here we are at 62 63 and as always I got my tools on $100 hammer working with the boys just introduced myself to them brought them a box of Publix chicken and some uh, Gatorade and I'm marking some walls here now this is just temporary but I like to be here right with the guys so I've got written out over here out of plum from here to this point here just talk with their supervisor and I said hey we're out of plum we're out about half an inch over eight foot and it's not bad but we can do better so they're just temporarily uh, these panels are manufactured in a controlled facility and they're trying to get them all plumb and they temporarily set them up so what I'm doing I got my big eight-foot level I got my string line so I'm walking around making marks around the build and I literally just started 15 minutes ago but I figured I'd try to get some of this on action camera here so obviously it looks like they started on the right side and so I already made this mark right here see that 86 and a half in an X <clears throat> there's gonna be a pocket door here this is in the master shower there's gonna be a, another pocket door over there it's not on the blueprints but this the rough stud has to be 86 and a half inches from the firewall that way the pocket door will certainly line up with the one in the the other wall but then the plumbing then will be right in line and it won't encroach on the vanity top and it makes it makes it look like a straightaway passageway and that's just something when I measured in the other buildings I made sure because it's not on the prints that just saves a rework later on and so we got the compressor going Plenty of nails. Let's take a look at the boys doing the real, the man's work here. Everyone's got the safety gear on. And uh, looks like we're pouring a slab tomorrow across the streetways. And <clears throat> we found out the survey issue over here. <clears throat> so we got the slab pack material dropped off there. Um, the permitting set did come in for 15 16 across the street we had a all girl in the office sick so i didn't have the uh this morning that's why i couldn't find the blueprints and everything and the permitting paper that you got to put in the the job box but this is what i'm doing now you see my shadow here you can see all the, the gear i'm carrying i'm dressed just like these guys are and uh, it was a very nice Whenever I meet a new crew, you know, they're used to superintendents being crotchety and cranky and everything like that. And uh, I just introduced myself as Gringo Loco and I says, here's some free chicken. And they just looked at me weird. They always do that. And I gave them the Gatorade and I just started pulling tape measures and stuff. So I think we're off to a good start.